Hello and welcome to part four ish <laughs> of our McCall's 8121 So Along, where we're making this super cute moto jacket together. If you're just now joining us, you've missed a lot. I hate to break Ooh. it to you, but I've got a whole bunch of links in the description box um, that will take you back to all the other videos in this So Along so far so that you can get caught up. For everyone else, um, we are going to be working through the So Along workbook. This workbook is 100% free. Um, it's a free download to kind of help you stay organized and stay on top of the So Along as we get through everything. But today we are on Thursday's checklist, which is going to be basically all of the back the side seams and shoulder seams. And then at the end, we are also going to try it on for kind of like a dry run, a test fit, if you will. Um, we do not have sleeves sewn on yet. So this would be an opportunity for us to nip and tuck here and there before we get the sleeves on. It's going to be an exciting day. I cannot wait to try this little puppy on. So before we can do any of that, let's get sewing. If you're coming back and forth and not doing all of this in one sitting, I have chapters. So check those out. Um, so you don't have to like skim through the whole video to find out where you left off. You should have a pretty good idea based on the chapters. So to the work table. Um, the back um, is cut on the fold. So there is a definite right side. So let me mark that and then right side. Okay. See, I already got confused. And then your yoke back should be interfaced. So you know what the right side and the wrong side of that should be. Um, we are going to be stitching this along this upper edge here, like so easy peasy stitch right across, press open your seams, unless you're top stitching, in which case, again, you're going to press toward the yoke and top stitch on the yoke seam. Okay. That's the back, so pretty. And now we're gonna be putting on these little like, I don't, they're calling them armhole facings. I'm kind of thinking of them as like little flanges. I, I don't know, they're gonna look really cool when it's, once we get them sewn on. But that is piece number 13, so grab that. All right, so piece number 13 is lining um, that should be interfaced. So you are gonna pin this onto the armhole of the back and we're gonna make sure that the one that has a little notchy doodad is at the bottom. So it goes like this, where the flat end is at your shoulder and that should match up with your shoulder notch. And then there's a couple of notches right here as well. Those get matched up with the double notch on your back armhole, like so. And then also um, there's a notch in this little area too. All of that gets matched up. So you are gonna sew this down all along this back arm side. All right, we're gonna be trimming this seam allowance. And anytime I'm trimming a seam allowance on a curve, I like to use pinking shears because it kind of acts as a little bit of like clipping curves and trimming at the same time because you know, it does little zigzags. So we will just do that. And then we're gonna turn this facing toward the inside, the wrong side of our back piece. So you turn this to the wrong side like so, and then you were gonna top stitch. If you're top stitching, you're gonna top stitch this edge here. I am not top stitching, so instead I'm going to under stitch, and then that is what will keep it nice and rolled pretty to the inside. Okay, so that's the back. We're on step number 27 now, where we are gonna take the back armhole band, which is piece number 14, this guy here. There is a right side and a wrong side. So again, I'm gonna mark those right sides together. Just trying to stay consistent with the sides that I mark as the right, just in case there's any variation that's a little bit naked to the eye. Sometimes when you sew it together, you're like, it's so glaringly obvious, but you, would, you couldn't tell. Okay. So we're gonna pin this on the inside. We are gonna pin these in the same fashion where the little notched end goes toward the bottom, but we're sewing the outer edges together. So if you laid it on your pattern piece like this, the inner edge is like, well, that's not matching up. Again, I messed up. No, you didn't. You just gotta move it over to the outside edge and that is gonna match up 
perfectly with the little facing piece that you just made. Okay, and when you get back to your table, this is what you are going to have, right? Where you have basted these down or basted these together and the back is free. Literally just pick this entire thing up and turn it over like so. This is how it should look. I am obsessed. Um, okay, so <laughs> this is like free. You see how this just kind of comes open like an envelope? We don't want that. So keep that nice and tucked in. And then we are going to baste to hold it in place along the shoulder seam and along the side seam where they overlap. And then while we're at our machines, go ahead and just stay stitch all the way down to the bottom of the um, back piece. And then we're gonna be attaching the back band in the same fashion that we attached the front bands, except we're using pattern piece 15, which is this guy here. Let me mark this right side. And this gets placed right sides together, matching up the notches and then this will get pressed down like so. Again, following all the top stitching um, that you want. If you want this to be top stitch, it gets top stitched on the band. All right, how cool is this looking? I love this little detail here. Once we get our arm or sleeves sewn on, this is just gonna be so neat and it's gonna provide just the littlest bit of like ease whenever you're wearing it, I think. We'll see, I've never done this before, so cool. Um, but we should be on step number 32, pinning the back to the front at the side back edges. So fun, it's coming together, right? We're moving right along. We've almost got like something that looks like a jacket. So find all the right sides of everything and the side edges are what is getting sewn together. So this little um, curved thing gets sewn to this curved edge here and then the same for the other side. Yeah, then the same for the other side and then we're also sewing our um, shoulder seams. So you're gonna come up here and you're gonna stitch that as well. And then that is going to be it for today. So let me do all that, come back, show you what it looks like or what mine looks like. Uh, Real quick, I want to point out that the band seams do not match up. And that is intentional. If you look at the illustration on step number 32, you can see that they are not completely lined up. They're off by about, a, about an inch, I think. Um, so just don't worry if they don't match up. They're not supposed to. Um, you didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> All right, so here is where we've landed at the end of our second day together. Super, super cute. I'm so proud. I hope you are proud too. At this point, you can do a quick little try on. You do not have a ton of wiggle room in terms of where you can adjust width wise. You can adjust what we just sewed, that back seam that we just sewed. You should have um, about half an inch per seam allowance um, to play with. So that's an inch on the left and an inch on the right. It adds up guys. So you could add in a few more inches if you needed to in the width. And then in the length, you really can only um, adjust that along the shoulder seams and the yoke seams, but remember, we have our collar. So you've already cut out your collar, adjusting the length here now is gonna pose some problems. Your collar is not gonna fit. So you'd have to recut that, but you do have options um, if you're wanting it to be a little bit longer or wider. All right, so we're getting there, right? We're making headway on this, so exciting. Um, we really only have a couple more days of sewing left but it's gonna be, it, they're heavy sewing days. Um, there, there's a lot to do. The sleeve is labor intensive, the collar is labor intensive, but we are gonna get there. Um, and hopefully you are all just really excited and ramped up based on what you were able to see from your little dry fit. Come back tomorrow. We'll be going through Friday's checklist. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'll see you then.